Well, hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. And today I've got a great topic that I want to talk to you about and it's about how to solve the problem of the big overswing in your backswing. So many golfers have their backswing that's way too long. And when you get that backswing really, really long, it makes it very difficult to time up a downswing that allows you to consistently hit that ball solid. And also, you kind of think that that long backswing is gonna make you hit the ball farther, and a lot of times it's a big power loss. So we need to learn to find the end of our range of motion correctly and stop. And so that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to teach you how to find the end of your range of motion correctly. Okay. I'm going to give you some drills that you can do so that you can create a new habit and change your backswing. All right. And then I'm going to show you how to practice a little bit. Okay. So let's jump into this video. But before we do, if you've never subscribed to my channel, please do, because what I do on this channel is I just provide you with good, solid, sound, fundamental golf advice that if you'll follow my advice, you're going to fix your golf swing. And when you fix your golf swing and you fix your short game and you learn to putt better, your scores are going to go down and hey, it makes golf a whole lot more fun. So if you're interested in playing better golf, I think you're going to want to do yourself a favor and hit that subscribe button. So let's get into this. When I say the overswing in golf, what do I mean? Well, I mean when people get their backswing going back way too far. And the biggest reasons I see people do that is I kind of touched on it a minute. One, they think that if they make a great big long backswing, they're going to have more time to create more speed on the downswing. And trust me, that rarely ever works. So what are the swing flaws that I see that people will create in order to have that big long backswing? One of them is in the backswing that they will lose their posture, that as they go back, they will tend to stand up, change their spine angle, which allows them to get that club going back farther. And that changing of the spine angle is no bueno in golf, okay? We gotta make sure that we stay in our posture. Another thing that I see people do all the time is they get that right arm going back behind them too far. They feel like they got to get that right arm way back here behind them. And then what that does is that makes the left arm fold up and they end up with a very narrow backswing with no width. Again, not a good thing and makes the downswing much more difficult from there. And then another one that I see is I see people just lose the, the, the shape of their lower body. They, they, they lose the mechanics of their lower body. Front knee will move too much. Back knee will straighten up. They will let their hips slide. All of these things in order to get that backswing longer. And folks, what we need to learn how to do is we need to learn to reach the end of our range of motion correctly and stop. We need to maintain the, mechanic, the mechanical integrity of our golf swing. We can't destroy our mechanics in the backswing in an effort to try and hit the ball farther. Because again, like I said, it doesn't work. So let me show you now how we find our and the end of our range of motion, okay? Let me talk just a second about the function of the right arm in the golf swing. And I've got videos about the function of the right arm before, but this right arm is a big, big key in finding that end of our range of motion correctly. So the right arm's job is this. The right arm, the way it moves, it is going to try and get the shaft of my golf club at a 90 degree angle to my shoulders. So. I've got another golf club right here and I'm going to put it up across my shoulders and I'm going to hold it. It's my right arm's job to get this golf club at 90 degrees. So let me turn around and face you so you can see. 90 degrees. Now, look at the condition of my right elbow and my right arm when I do that. My right elbow is down. I have a bend in my right wrist. And trust me, I'm feeling a lot of pressure in the back of my shoulder. That's that external rotation that we talk about. And so this is the real thing that's gonna limit you as to how far you can go back. And so our right arm's job is to get that golf shaft at 90 degrees to my shoulders. Now, 
Once that right arm has got it at 90 degrees to the shoulders, what is responsible for getting the club up here to the top of my backswing? And that's our pivot, okay? So I'm gonna do this in two pieces. Right arm's got the club at 90 degrees. My pivot is gonna take this club back there behind me, okay? My right arm is in a great position. Now, how do I find how far I can go back? Well, I take my left arm over here and I reach. And that's as far as my left arm can go. So my right arm has to come back down to where my left arm is. Look at the width that I have created in my swing. And there's the end of my backswing. Whew, that was stretching me. So what I suggest that you do is get yourself in front of a mirror and do just what I did. So you can watch and see. Right arm here, big pivot, reach with the left arm. There's the end of my backswing. Okay, so how am I gonna create this into a habit? Well, let's find out. I now wanna habitize this new position because I, this is where I need to be. This is where I want to be. So how am I gonna create this new position as a habit because my old position is my current habit? Well, it's through correct repetitions. And I've done videos on this as well, talking about how we learn and everything. And so we just have to make sure that we do a lot of correct repetitions to create a new habit. So I touched on the first one, that my favorite thing when we're changing emotion is to get yourself in front of a mirror, okay? Stand in front of a mirror, a window, somewhere where you can see your reflection and just stand there and make backswing after backswing. You can do it for five or 10 minutes and you'll end up making 10 minutes, you'll make 50 backswings. Just repeatedly over and over and over in front of the mirror and if you're patient, this will create a new, a new habit back here where you will then shorten your backswing. When you go to the driving range, okay, don't be one of those people that stands there and goes full blast at a golf ball and then expects their golf swing to change because it won't. Get yourself over a golf ball. Go find the position that you want, okay? So I'm going to, there's the end of my range of motion right there. Now from here, so go forward and tap that ball out there. Can y'all see how hard this wind is blowing? I've had to come out on the golf course today and get behind a big stack of woods right here to get out of the wind. We've had some great weather the last few days. Now, once you have done it enough times where you're pausing back here, start to make the pause a little bit shorter, and then you can eventually start to speed the forward swing up. So eventually it will start to look like this. Man, that was so solid right there. So those would be the two, my two favorite things for you to do hitting a golf ball and swinging that golf club to create this new habit. So let me end this video by telling you one thing that I want you to avoid. Remember at the beginning of the video, I said most people make a big long backswing because they think it's gonna make them hit the ball farther. Well, you start making the shorter backswing and your brain's gonna start thinking the ball's not gonna go very far. But what's gonna happen is, is you're then gonna end up being able to create a much more efficient downswing. You're gonna have a much better chance of creating lag. You're gonna have a much better chance of compressing that golf ball. You're gonna have a much better chance of allowing your pivot to move forward. So even though we're creating a shorter backswing, we're going to have a much more efficient downswing with a bigger follow through, which is going to probably make you hit the ball farther than you do now. So be patient, practice correctly, find the end of your golf swing, find the end of your backswing where you can physically go and stop and then figure out how to hit it from there. If you'll do this, I know your ball striking is gonna improve. And remember, that's what I said I do on this channel. I provide you advice that's gonna help you with your golf swing, that's gonna make you a better ball striker. I give you short game tips, putting tips, all things to help you score better and make you play better golf. So if you're interested in better golf, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button and keep coming back to these videos. Um, I've got a video coming up here real soon talking about my trip. I know I've teased y'all a little bit about my trip, but I'm just over a week away 
So next week or maybe this weekend, there's going to be a little video actually telling you where I'm going and who I'm going to meet up with on this trip for a few days and do some great YouTube videos. So you're going to really love it, I think. Well, listen, I appreciate y'all coming in, watching this video. I, 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 it, I, I, I thank you so much. And I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you in my next video.